Okay, uh, let me start off with uh, by thanking uh, our TNC for this opportunity, Prof Wong. Now, the COVID-19 outbreak was unexpected. And uh, by the time the PKP was announced, it was already the sixth week. Can you put on your video? Can you put on your video? Video? There's no video. There's only PowerPoint. Just a minute. Can you see the PowerPoint? Yes, can. We can see. Okay. It. Wonderful. Thank you. So, uh, by the time the PKP was announced, it was already the sixth week of the semester, right? So, we were in the sixth week of the semester, and uh, as the semester started on the 10th of February, and uh, we had to do something. It was uh, unexpected. So, we have to adapt our teaching techniques. And uh, I also found out that the students were very stressed. They were very, uh, very anxious of what's going to happen. Some of them even were worried that they had to uh, extend the semester. So what I thought they needed information. So I made a YouTube video. Part of it is what you're looking at now. Uh, uploaded it into the smart uh, UMS version three to give them some information. Now the I, I shared with the students that we have to keep the door of learning open and that there are three stages in this pandemic, uh, the stage of fear. Once PKP was announced, students were very worried over the logistics. Some were thinking of going back, but others were thinking how to adapt themselves. And then came the period of learning to adapt with what we have got. And then eventually stage of growth where they had to carry on with life. And of course, with the, with the courses that we are teaching. So this information had to be uh, given to them, shared with them. So I made that video to share my experiences and what I expect to do with them. Now, uh, as part of the platform, I, they were, as, as you know, there are multiple platforms available and like uh, Google Meet, uh, Jitsi, Zoom, Cisco WebEx. So we decided the students said they were more comfortable with Google Meet platform. So we connected, I connected the students using this platform and we were able to uh, do the uh, program and lecture outcomes were successfully achieved. Uh, this was one technology that was very practical as we are using it now. What I did was to share with them the teaching plan. This was very important to, to assist them and to remove them from the stage of fear and uncertainty. So I shared with them uh, that from week one till week five, we had face to face and what has transpired in that period of time, like assignments, quizzes, and then week six onwards, it was all online. We used the uh, Google Meet platform, we used Smart3 and few other uh, technology platform that I'll share with you. And I also shared with them when the assignments are due, when the midterms due, uh, when we'll have these assessments that will replace the final exam and, of course, the quizzes. With this information, the, uh, the students were very much relieved and they were prepared with knowing what they are supposed to do, what's going to come next. They were very much uh, confident and they were able to move along. Now, I used uh, Smart UMS version 3 as a basic platform where I uploaded course materials, and then we also created a WhatsApp group since it is the most easiest way of communicating with the student. As you can see, uh, the students communicate very freely and they were able to express their concerns, their fears and the anxieties. So we could uh, put the motion in, in place, what we're going to do, how we're going to assist them. One particular feature that I was very much fascinated was the, uh, what you call this progress bar that is somewhere in the system, what I did, I took it out and I put it in the, like, like a tab. And I could actually monitor uh, for all the materials that I've uploaded, let it be PowerPoint, files, videos. I could actually see how many percent of the material has been downloaded or viewed by the student. 
So whenever the students uh, progress or viewing these materials or reading these materials is less than 75%, like here, what I do, I will send them a message to the smart UMS3 uh, system to the particular students and encourage them to, to, to increase the uh, progress of viewing or going through the lecture notes. I find it very, uh, very interesting and very uh, uh, easy to, to prompt them to keep on learning and uh, discovering new knowledge. And I also found out that besides the conventional PowerPoints and lecture notes that we always upload, students were very much fascinated with the uh, YouTubes. So I share some of the YouTubes that are relevant to the topics that I teach. Example, if I'm teaching chemical ecology of animals using uh, chemicals to send or to mark the territory, I could actually easily show them a simple video like this, which is from the YouTube. And they could learn a lot. So they could learn a lot from this sort of YouTubes and they were very fascinated. Uh, children of this uh, time, they are more, they're very, uh, they, they use handphones very easily and they could learn a lot using the handphones. And I also use forum, part of the uh, Smart3 feature to have discussions with students and to gauge their understanding of certain issues and certain aspects of the the lecture uh, uh, that I've shared with them. The next uh, monitoring assignments could also be monitored and when it prompts that some of them, like here you can see some of them have not submitted their assignment, then I could remind them to do so. And of course, uh, WhatsApp, a very important uh, tool to know where they are, how they're doing, whether they're okay, because uh, students' anxiety and concern was of importance because they could not uh, focus on what's at hand when they were very concerned of whether they have to extend the semester or whether they will miss some of the lectures or assessments. So keeping in touch with them was uh, a very important element during the PKP. And I believe it is also one of the main features uh, until the semester ends. And you can see uh, we were able to accomplish teaching through the platforms that we have. Learning could also be done. Students were able to learn. Uh, YouTube videos were big help. And of course, the progress bar that you have seen. Assessments could be accomplished. For exam questions that are straightforward, we use Google Meet to monitor the uh, assessment process. While for very descriptive questions, where questions need understanding and discussion, then we like, give them a period of time without monitoring and they will sit for the exams or test and, and, and send the, uh, the final uh, answers uh, within a certain stipulated time, 10 minutes or 15 minutes after the time, then they will send it to us through the means. Now, these are some of the uh, comments of the student that, that, that I've uh, recorded. Okay, uh, as you can see, the main main issue here is anxiety and they were concerned that they had to extend, so it was very important.
So I think, uh, as you can see, uh, most of the students, uh, some express fear and concern uh, through the use of uh, Smart3 and uh, proper teaching uh, planning, we were able to deliver the course outcome and we are still doing that, another couple of weeks more to go and assessment is being carried out and students are a bit more comfortable with the new normal. Uh, they have learned to adapt themselves as we have learned to adapt. And I think I'm confident that we will be able to achieve the objectives of the course and also objectives of the lecture each time we give them lecture. In fact, some of them find it uh, much more interesting to doing it, doing it online because they are comfortable now using the platforms and the videos that we now uh, uploaded. But nevertheless, the system that we have, Smart uh, UMS version 3, with its features could be used effectively for the benefit of these online uh, teaching. With that, I thank you very much, Prof Fong, uh, for this opportunity. As you can see, students have adapted well, and uh, uh, I think we'll be okay with these uh, tools that we're using now. Thank you.